Hi, everybody. I'm Sarah Arison. I'm president of the Arison Arts Foundation, and I am so honored that I was the 2019 recipient of the Service to the Arts Awards. I am here with my dear friend and incredible human being, Dana Faruqi. She is this year's recipient, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to get to know her a bit better. Um, the award is given to people who are real advocates for the arts. They have vision, they have integrity, they have leadership, and I cannot think of anybody else who deserves it more than Dana. So uh, we actually met um, through the board of MOA PS1. We both are Aspen lovers. I think our children would love us to move to Aspen full time. And we both adore Anderson Ranch. Uh, so why don't we get started? Thank you. Um, I think as you all know, Sarah is probably the toughest act to follow <laughs> in, um, in the art world. So I'm not sure I can live up to kind of her incredible contributions uh, across all media and the arts and, and to so many incredible organizations. But it is true that I love Anderson Ranch and that I adore Aspen. And I think that Anderson Ranch is this incredible haven for amateur and professional artists. And it's a special place in so many people's hearts because we kind of can all get together in this camp-like setting to reflect on both art making and um, and also uh, I especially adore uh, it when artists come and kind of um, spend time at, at, at Anderson Ranch and we get to hear from them in, in such a special and magical setting. I know that there's an amazing lineup this year, including Mickey Thomas. Um, you know, as always, the most amazing artists are coming to Anderson Ranch. But I think we would love to hear a little bit about, you know, what you're working on currently, what is really inspiring to you, what is motivating to you right now. I think um, so many of you may or may not know that um, I have, you know, kind of been involved with a number of different organizations that are New York based and also kind of um, based globally because I have a keen interest in not only kind of global contemporary art, but also art from the Middle East and, uh, and made by Arab artists as well. So I've, 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 I've you know, often played this role um, at you know, US-based institutions where I act as an advocate to ensure that Arab artists are well represented, if well represented in, um, in, in, in the narratives that take place here and work to ensure that um, artists from that part of the world have incredible opportunities to make and show their art um, at the greatest institutions in the world. Amazing. Um, do you have a favorite Anderson Ranch memory? Um, I feel like it's such a, it's, it's like such a magical drive to, you know, each and every time we, we go to Anderson Ranch, um, we're kind of prepared for this pilgrimage. Um, and, uh, I love, I remember you and I kind of visited a long time ago with, um, with a MOA PS1 crew. And, and, and I remember specifically kind of, um, you know, people's all, all kind of stricken reactions when they arrived at the ranch and they were like, this incredible haven exists in, in, you know, in this magical place and is a real um, home for um, artists to kind of you know, evolve and, and rest and, and, and kind of grow. I, it was actually because of you that I was introduced to Anderson Ranch. You were the first person who took me there on that Noma PS1 pilgrimage. And I remember arriving and being like, is this heaven? Can I stay here forever? Um, so it is, it is really because of you that I'm here right now. So thank oh, you for, the, my thank God. for that. <laughs> um, I don't know, any thoughts kind of going into the summer, thinking about the programming, um, you know, what you're looking forward to in Aspen with Anderson Branch. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to those artist conversations. I also understand that um, this year the uh, the option will focus on ceramics. And I feel like I love ceramics. exactly I love cannot get it on them ceramics. And I think it's so fitting, especially there because it the ceramics program and practice is like so spectacular. And there's so many local artists who live and work there who, who make such incredible things. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I understand that we're gonna have, you know, fun additions to um, the Benefit Gala and I'm really pushing for s'mores, so. I mean, that's obviously. I'd yeah. improve, <laughs> improve any night with the addition of s'mores. So yeah, looking forward well, to that. I love that the benefit is now at the ranch. I think it is so powerful to be able to be in the space and like feel the energy and kind of understand why artists love the ranch in the way that they do. So I'm really glad 
um, that will be again on campus this year, and it's going to be an incredible celebration. Yeah, I know that that is a highlight to, for me as well. The cocktail hour where the studios are open and you get to kind of really, you know, see all the different spaces and incredible art making um, kind of studios. So looking forward to that and looking forward to being with you in Aspen, our special place yes. um, this summer and for many more to come. Yeah, well, can't wait to celebrate you and can't wait to celebrate with you all. See you there. Thank you.